Hey friends, so now, the first thing that we usually learn about any programming language is how to add comments to our code. So what are comments? A comment is a line of text in your code that Python totally ignores. It is there only to help us in order to understand what the code is doing. Okay, so now let's understand how this exactly works. So now let's say that you are coding a script in Python and now you would like to add a comment. So now in order to do that, we use the special character hash and after that, whatever you want. Like for example, start and then you say this is my code and then an end. So now once you execute this, what's gonna happen? Python gonna say, okay, this is not a code. This is just for the humans and I'm gonna go and totally ignore it. So that means actually nothing happens. It will not affect the logic inside your code or anything in the output. It is just a comment for you. So now if you say, you know what, why do we need comments? Now let's check this. On the left side we have a code that is actually working, but it is kind of mystery, right? There is like some kind of filtering and we are multiplying stuff together, but it's really hard to understand and to read. Now if you look to the right side, we have the same code, but this time we are adding comments in order to explain the steps. So first we are saying, okay, we are loading the data. Then we are filtering the data based on the month and the region. And then we are computing the revenue. And at the end, we are finding the total revenue and we are displaying it. So this is exactly the power of the comments. They're gonna make your code understandable, readable, and professional. And believe me, you're gonna thank yourself later once you come back to your code after a week or even a year, or someone even from your team, once they open your code, they will see these amazing comments in order to understand what is the logic of your code. So this is exactly why we add comments to our code. Okay, so now back to Visual Studio Code and let's go and add a comment. So we're gonna start with a simple hash and then after that we can write whatever we want. So this is a comment. And now if you go and execute it, you can see in the output we are not getting anything because Python at the start says, okay, we have this hash simple. So that means whatever comes after it, it's for human. So nothing to execute and Python can go and ignore it. And now of course, this comment that we just created is a single line comment. So this is a single line. But sometimes in our code, we would like to add more description and we would like to have like multiple lines. And of course we can go and do that if you start always with the hash. So this is multi line comments. And now we can go and add more lines of comments. Like we say first create username, then maybe a second step we print message to user and a third step store data. So as you can see, we have now multi-line comments. This is really nice if you have like complex logic and you want to explain it like step by step. Okay, so now my friend, there are like different styles on how to place the comments inside your code. So now let's see that in our code, we have something like this. X is equal to 10. Now, if I would like to add a comment for this in order to explain it, what we usually do is we go and place the comment on the top. So for example, we say store the final exam score. So that I understand, okay, I'm storing now the score 10 to the variable x. Don't worry about the syntax here, we're gonna learn it in the next videos. So what we have done, we have placed a comment on top of our code that explains the next line of code. And now there is like another style where we add comments. Let me go over here and say x is equal to 9. Now, instead of putting the comment on top of the code, we will place the comment at the end of the code. So we're gonna say hash final exam score. So now as you can see, everything is in one line and we call this comment as inline comment. This type of comments, it is really amazing in order to give a quick explanation. And we usually keep it short. As you can see, I didn't say store the final exam score. I just want to make it quick and short and say it here, final exam score. So now if you go and execute this, Python will not go and ignore the whole line because the line has two things. First, we have a code. So Python gonna go and execute this. X is equal to nine. But the next part, Python gonna say, okay, we have here hash simple. So that means Python gonna go and ignore everything after it, not the whole line. So again, if you want to make a long and detailed explanations, place your comment above your code and you can go and add multiple lines and so on. But if you'd like to give short and quick explanation or a label, you can go and place your comment in the same line exactly at the end of your code. Okay, so now a quick recap. Comments are line of text that Python totally ignores. It 
is written only for us, for humans, and we add comments to our code in order to make it understandable, readable, professional, and easy to maintain. It's gonna help you and your team in the future to understand the thought process inside your code. So that's all about that comments. All right, friends, so looking back to our plan, with that, we have learned on how to comment our code. And now next, we're gonna speak about the first and the very important built-in function in Python, the print, in order to show a message for the users.